Okay. Bread and Butter is a pickleball company that's been around for a couple of years now, and they've always emphasized the fun aspect of pickleball. I actually did a whole breakdown of the OG Bread and Butter line a while back, so be sure to check that video out. If you haven't, here's the link. And just like Bread and Butter's OG paddles, the new Fat Boy really makes it clear Bread and Butter's still all about the fun. I mean, just look at this thing. But the biggest shift from Bread and Butter's older paddles and the Fat Boy is that this paddle is also a serious, serious performer that really stands out in the marketplace. This is not a cookie cutter paddle in the slightest. To really summarize, I think this paddle is pretty special. I just love how it hits and plays, so much so I'm really debating giving it a permanent slot in my bag moving forward. And that's because the Fat Boy is more than its flashy looks and sexy branding. It's got some real athleticism under its bubbly surface, and we're gonna talk all about it. But first, I wanted to let you know I'm working on a video of some of my favorite pickleball accessories, so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. But if you want a sneak peek, I've got a list down in the video description of a lot of the gear I've been testing out, so don't be afraid to dig around. But now, let's talk the Fat Boy specs. The Fat Boy is a 60 millimeter paddle. Its face is a weave of T700 carbon fiber and aramid. Its shape is a standard. It's a Gen 2 paddle, so it's thermoform unibody with perimeter edge foam. It has a polypropylene core. It's 16 by 8 inches. It's got a 5.3 inch grip and it's got a 4.25 inch circumference handle. The weight is about 8.15 to 8.3 ounces. The advertised swing weight is 110. The advertised twist weight is 7.19. It includes a custom neoprene paddle cover that is just really cool. It has a 30 day love it or return it window as well as a six month manufacturing defects warranty. And the price is $161.50 after you use promo code MATTHEWK to knock off 15%. Okay, so the Fat Boy is a great all-court paddle that has everything you'd want. It's got enough power to go deep with your serves and baseline hits, but has great control with that aramid carbon fiber surface, while also having some super pronounced pop that lets you be really aggressive at the kitchen whenever you want. It actually plays a lot like my favorite paddle of the year so far, Honolulu's J2K, with maybe just a hair less pop which is actually kind of interesting because usually these Kevlar and carbon fiber blended surfaces have more pop than 100% Kevlar, but in my opinion, I think the Fat Boy pockets the ball just a tad more than the 100% Kevlar J2K. I'm sure it has something to do with how the cores vary, but it just feels a little less stiff than a fresh J2K, in my opinion. And I actually think that can be a really good thing depending on what you want out of a paddle and your particular play style. If you've been interested in the J2K or another all-court paddle, but were worried about controlling it or potentially having a paddle with too much pop, then the Fat Boy is a great paddle to consider. As for power, I think it's right up there with the J2K and feels more powerful than its 110 swing weight suggests. To me, it's got more than enough donut fuel inside its gut to get your drives and serves as deep as you want, as well as plenty of control for some old school drops. Now, what I think really sets the Fat Boy apart from all the other paddles on the market is that Bread and Butter has created a very unique shape. It's a little shorter and a little wider than a lot of the arrow curve all quirts we see, like the Double Black Diamond, the Ruby, and the J2K. This new shape really cuts through the air and just feels really good as you whip around. I also appreciate that its handle is a tad beefier. That's a personal preference of mine, but I think a lot of paddle companies are slimming their grips too much, which just means weighing the paddle down with even more over grips, so I wanted to make note of that. Also, this paddle has a super generous sweet spot in my opinion, but I typically don't have an issue hitting the edges with any paddle, so it takes a really bad sweet spot for me to notice if there's an issue. As for touch and feel, this paddle is up there with the best. Control, drops, dinks are all great. The only thing I notice is that its surface might have just a tad less spin than the J2K, for example, but Honolulu really sets the bar freaking high in that department, so this really isn't a big knock against bread and butter. Also, I want to note the spin and grab on the Fat Boy is much improved from their now discontinued Loco paddle, and it's right up there with their super popular power paddle, the Filth. So if you like the Loco, I think you're going to love the Fat Boy. While this might have a little less grab than the J2K, I do think it's got a bit of a leg up in the hand speed department. That lower swing weight compared to the J2K really helps the Fat Boy feel quicker and more maneuverable in the hands. Not by a lot, but there's definitely a difference. Finally, value. Is the Fat Boy worth $161.50 after you use promo code MATTHEWK to knock off that 15%? 
Well, I think so. First, Bread and Butter is a reputable brand at this point, which seems to have a pretty big team compared to a lot of the newer companies. So I think that will translate to solid customer support if you ever have an issue. The 30 day love it or return it policy is pretty much unheard of at this point. So they're really standing behind what they offer. And the six month warranty for manufacturing defects is pretty good as well. Then this paddle, as well as the new Shogun, now comes with a customized paddle cover, which is a huge upgrade, in my opinion, from how Bread and Butter did things with their older paddles. I just love getting a nice cover with the new paddle. Finally, this paddle has insanely fun packaging that really makes it feel like Christmas morning when you open it up. I don't know what that feeling is valued at dollar-wise, but it's got to be worth something. And it's just one more reminder what Bread and Butter has always been about, the fun. And that's something we shouldn't ever forget about when it comes to pickleball. So if you're looking for a stylish all court that's super fast in the kitchen with just enough pop and power to stay aggressive in just about any kind of game, the Fat Boy is definitely one you should consider. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description for Bread and Butter's site. Don't forget to use promo code MATTHEWK for that 15% discount. Also leave some links and codes for some other cool paddles and paddle companies. Be sure to check those out. And don't forget to take a peek at my list of favorite pickleball accessories down there in the video description as well. Using those links and codes does help me and helps the channel, so it's always appreciated. And please like and subscribe. That helps me a lot too. But most importantly, I hope you get to pickle soon. And just don't forget, it's about having fun.